Hello boys and girls, welcome back to Bible Life. Last week, we learned about baby Samuel and his mother, Hannah. This week, we're going to learn about Samuel also, but this time, he is <coughs> a little bit old. But it's a very interesting story, so let's go and listen to the story. Samuel was a good, good king. At the same time, he is also a father. He has two sons. But the thing is, the two sons are not like him. They are very greedy of money. One day, all the elders of Israel gathered together and they said, Come, come, come. Let us go talk to Samuel. So they went to Samuel's house at Bama, and this is what they say to Samuel. Look, Samuel, you are old, and your sons do not walk in your ways. So now, make us a king to judge us, just like all the other nations. We want a king. That made Samuel unhappy. Because all of them asked for a king to judge over them. So Samuel went to God and prayed. God told Samuel, if they really want a king, you have to warn them first that how the king will be like for them. So Samuel went to warn the Israelites, if you're gonna have a king, this king will make your sons fight in wars. He will make you work on his land. And he will take all your best crop, your best food. And what more, he's going to make you slave. But the people didn't want to listen to Samuel. They insisted saying, We want a king! We want a king! We want a king! And that's what the Israelites told Samuel. When Samuel went to God and told him that Israelites wouldn't want to change their mind, God told Samuel, give them what they want. And Lord just said, listen to them, make them a king. We would want to listen to the people who know us best because those are good choice. Because once we don't listen to them, it may become a bad choice. So kids, remember, God knows us best. So let us listen to Him, alright? Today, we are going to make a crown. A crown of a crown! What are the materials that you need are paper cup, scissors, glue stick, or hot glue, colors such as paints, crayons, color pencil, and small tiny objects like beads to decorate the crown. For me, I'll be using spray paint. But kids, if you're gonna use spray paint, remember to ask daddy and mommy for help. Alright? Okay, let's start! This is my crown. If you are done with your crown, do send it to us so that we can post it up on our page to show out your crown. By the way, kids, do you know who is called as the king of all kings? Yes, you are right. It's God. God is king of all kings. So, whenever you see this crown, remember that this king of all kings loves you. 
and we would want to listen to him, let us to be obedient towards his word. See you next time!